All right, this one's gonna be on W3M and some of the options I started using with this. So let's bust out our you know browser here. And uh, all you gotta do is hit O now to go to our options. And I'm just gonna talk about like four of these options that I start using and it makes it quicker for navigation, right? And some other ones are just useful, I guess. Um, so the first one is, uh, what's this one here? Display link URL automatically. So if, you hit, if there's a link, all you gotta do is hover over it and it will show you the uh, you know URL of it. The second one here uh, that I enable is was a display link numbers. And this one is really useful for jumping to a link real quick. So that's why you see all these numbers next to it here. Uh, you can actually jump through it um, using these numbers. And I'll show you that in a minute here. Uh, the next one is display current line number, right? And this one is to, uh, you know, see how many lines are on the page. So right now you can see that we're on line um, 13. And the total line in this uh, whole page is uh, 209 here, right? So I can go all the way to the bottom here. And you see it's 209 is at the end. Let's go up to the top here. And the last one I enable, um, which one was it? Show line numbers. Um, and I believe this one is just for the line numbers on the side here, right? Kind of like in Vim, you have your line numbers. And so that's all you gotta do for enabling it. All you gotta do is go to, uh, you know, your yes here. Let me show you an example here. Let's go, oops, what the hell are we doing? There we go. So if I wanna go into here, uh, before this one was no. So it was no here. All you gotta do is go to the yes column here and you hit enter on it. For uh, the options you want to enable, and you do the same thing for um, was that this one here, uh, this one, and then this one here, right? So all of the ones I talked about, uh, line 16, 17, and 19 here, right? Uh, just make sure you enable it. So you just hit enter on it, and you have that little star on the yes. Now you actually have to go down here on line um, was that line 45 here? Uh, you have to hit OK on it. So you go to the OK and you hit Enter, and then it will save it. Because if you don't save it, it doesn't actually, uh, you know, save the changes. Now what you want to do is actually quit out of this. So you hit Q, and then you say Y for yes, and it'll quit out the the browser. And then when you um, activate it again or start it again, it will actually, um, you know, have all your features uh, enabled now. So now we can actually use it. So let's say, for example, when I search for uh, my YouTube name or whatever on Google here, so you can have a bigger results here. But uh, if I wanted to jump to a line number, so you see the line number on the side here. It's kind of like in Vim. If you just, um, you know, uh, type in the number in G, then it'll jump to it. So let's say right now we're on line seven here, right? And I want my cursor to be on, let's say, line 31 here or whatever. So I do. Um, 31 G and I'll jump to 31 G right so on so far so I want to jump back to uh, let's say 4 G here then I'll jump to 4 you know 25 G then I'll jump to 25 so on so forth um, next thing what is the other next thing if I hover over a link or whatever it will actually show me the link at the bottom here you see the link at the bottom that's the other one that we enable so if I jump or I go to a different link or something like that, it will show me the link, so on and so forth. Before I was doing like I hit the, I hit U or something like that, and it will show me the, uh, allow you to peek under the, the link. But now I just enable it and I don't have to do that anymore. I just scroll over it and it will show me what URL it is and so on and so forth. Uh, a little bit more convenience for me, I guess. And the last one is that uh, in the past I would use uh, if you remember this one escape and M and this is how I would jump to a link uh, so let's say for example I want to jump to my uh, github uh, link here on this page I'll do uh, 2 O here right so I type in 2 and O then I'll jump to uh, this uh, github page or whatever right so in the past I'll do escape and M and if I want to jump into my uh, YouTube link here, I'll do, uh, what was that, 1x, right? So 1x, and I'll jump to my YouTube here. But now that we enable the uh, numbers next to the links, so you see all these numbers next to it? 
that means there's a link there and you can actually jump through it so don't, I don't have to use this menu anymore uh, for jumping around I can just use it directly as I see it um, if you ever use like hinting in like Vimium or you know one of those uh, browsers that has like Vim enable keys uh, it's kind of similar to that this this is kind of like the I call it hints um, right and all you gotta do is just type in the number and then you do um, was that open brackets so let me give you an example here. right now we're on line four here right there's no links or anything if I want to jump into let's say there's a YouTube thing here I do 29 and then open brackets here then I'll jump to that right uh, if I want to jump into let's say uh, this one here there's a github one here it's on uh, 35 right so I just type in what is that 35 uh, open brackets and I'll jump to that so on and so forth and let's say I can hit enter and I can go to uh, that page so this is my github page so let's say for example I want to jump into uh, 133 here where there's a vim file or whatever so I do 133 open brackets and I'll jump to that real quick I like that a lot instead of using this menu I did in the past it was kind of funky now I can just see it uh, where I'm at and then I just type in the number and I just jump through it uh, it wasn't actually in the man page I had to Google that shit but uh there you go if you want to have a quicker navigation like I, I did anyways that's uh, for people that are using w3m as their command line web browser uh, I'll talk about some other stuff you can do you can actually run scripts and other custom hotkeys uh, in the future so check back uh, I usually post a video every Friday um, that'll be it for this one